What happened? The one that Josh uh, drive, is it bigger than this? No, this is our biggest one. This is the biggest one? The 75 ton. Oh, hello YouTube. Today we have, uh, it's Friday afternoon, and we have uh, a huge uh, top loader. What it does is it picks up these containers and uh, places on top of, uh, of any type of uh, flatbed, trailer. Uh, this unit weights approximately 160, 165,000 pounds. So it's a heavy beast. And obviously it dug into, a, it's up into a hole. So I need to pretty much see if I can winch it out. Obviously the unit still drives, so we're gonna utilize its, its pushing power. I'm just gonna help it a little bit. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Put my uh, my lines are a three part them. If uh, the big ones fit, hopefully it does.
now I'm gonna uh, now that I have my three part lines attached be a shackle that shackle is actually made from skookum which is 31 tons 62,000 on each one so more than enough that master link plus my three part line on each side so next I'll be attaching some uh, some chains at the bottom What happened? I can't hear you. It's not budging. Oh, it's heavy.
Very heavy. There it is. Slid. I'm moving it little by little. Can you have someone go in there? And put it in drive? Just put it in drive, uh, reverse, drive. So Pon la reversa, así para cuando, sí, prendida, so, así para que me ayudes con las llantas. Reversa. Y baja la pluma poquito. Ahí está bien. Ponla en reversa. ¿Listo? Dale. Sí, dale. Espérate. Te deténla. Déjame hacer para enfrente otra vez y otra vez te jalo. ¿Ok? So now I just have to move it forward. Monday. Question: Would you be able to get them out of there, the bed, the containers? Out of the hole? Yeah. Out of there. Like if, if we and if we have to move that trailer. So you want to lift this one out of there? All of them. I have one, two, three, four, five, four, one, four. I have four back there. Four containers. Yeah. What's the weight on each one? No more than like thirty. Thirty. What do you want me to do? Swing them around or? Swing them around just to get out. You have oh, to be recording all the time, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Um, well, let, let me let me take them out and then uh, let me see the footing because I, I need to check the footing first. Okay. Okay. okay.
was gonna have the driver help me a little bit by doing the drive wheels. There you go. Perate. ¿Sí, verdad? Uh, ¿Seguro? Seguro, sí. Ok, so desconecto. Ya yeah, dale Just like that, it's able to move. You can see how heavy it is. It just, just uh, puts a huge dent on the on the on the asphalt. So you can see how it got stuck. Let me show you where it's at, guys. Oh yeah, look at this massive hole. This is where we got it out of. This huge hole right here. Pretty much winched it out. It just. Oh wow, like you can see how they were trying to remove some of these uh, these containers and look at huge hole, huge hole that this thing just, just gouges, holy. I guess uh, uh, Lisa wants me to move these four containers or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah, it'll probably, be, it'll probably be easier if uh, we move these containers. That way I'm not on top of the Both of these, yeah, if we can. Do you know the approximate weight of each one? They're like uh, 30,000 pounds. Each one? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Some is lighter. Some is like, uh, maybe like 40,000 pounds, 15,000 pounds. Okay. These are these 40 footers, right? 40 footers. 40 footers. 
So how are you gonna pick him up like from the from the your chucky be right here and you're gonna swing? Yeah, what are you gonna so, place so I'll, him on? I'll put a, I'll, I'll put a uh, flap it on it and put a flap it for me talking like I'm rolling back there. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And then how are you gonna get him off the flatbed? I'm gonna use this top handle on Monday. Okay. That's fine. Also, oh, are you gonna put one flatbed here and then? Yeah. So at the time, one at a time, I'll put one at a time from the flatbed. So you, basically, these are gonna be all put in the, on, a, on, a, on a chassis or flatbed first. Okay. Then you gotta get through with a truck. Crazy, ain't it? Crazy, huh? <laughs> Gracias, maestro. Igualmente. Cuídese. Igual. Your flatbed's gonna come right now? Yeah, you know, uh, Dante's gonna use that. So where do you want to put the flatbed at? Uh, well, this one first, because it's like this. I'll, uh, I'll come around this way. I'll sky it, and then your guy could back up uh, diagonally here. The flatbed? Yeah, so, so like coming from there, yeah. That way I don't, because if, if I... If we go over, but maybe you want to move the flatbed over here like this? No, no, no okay. diagonally. So he'll come from oh, that right, way like this. Okay. So I'll come around that way, edge over from that side, pick it up, and then the container is going to pretty much be at like at a 45 and 45. yeah, pretty much parallel with my truck. And then your guy just goes right under. And then the next one, I'll back up to that one, sky it, and then swing it around, and he could back up straight this way. Okay? All right, guys. Well, this, uh, Massive beast is uh is out. It's over here on more uh, solid ground. Hundred and sixty thousand pounds, and that's it. Pretty much winched it out with big flipper. Uh, his job is done, uh, but they want me to move those containers over there, those four. So that's pretty simple. Uh, the standard standard lift. I'll include some pictures at the end of the video but that's it from uh from gardena for this uh winch out all right guys thank you peace out hey everyone and welcome back to another edition of josh's breakdown now first off the bat i want to uh, mention something a lot of people in the comments in the last few videos uh the amazon one i did and that rollover at, you know, the, hey, you said three to 400, you didn't say thousand, that guy. A lot of people have been saying, what job was Alex on that he three-parted his lines and he left them like that? It was this job. I'm on a huge backlog of videos from when I was out on paternity leave, so I'm catching up. And this was one of those jobs. It was before those two jobs, Alex had three-parted his lines and then the next day, the Amazon one. And right after that, the guy smashed out to that rollover. So we've been crazy slammed it's a good thing good thing for us and good thing for the viewers you guys get content but yeah this is it so these top handlers if you guys are familiar they're dumb heavy very 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 heavy they have to be to be able to lift 40 50 60 thousand pound containers with ease and raise them up and drive around with them the thing is though and i've done quite a few of these in fact i posted a youtube video where two rotators it was flipper and myself had a winch one out that was stuck stuck and dead in the water they're so heavy that these grounds, these one, these container places by these forklifts, oftentimes their asphalt isn't rated for this stuff. So you got the huge weight of these forklifts is bad enough as it is, and then you got the container on it. 
it, you'll see with this video, I mean, it leaves holes everywhere it goes. So warning to you guys looking to buy one of these, make sure your yard is equipped for it because it will destroy it. And in this case, this thing had buried itself in and it couldn't reverse out, which is why we got the phone call. So Alex played it very safe here. Uh, he three-parted his lines and then he used snatch blocks on both his deck winches to pull it out and pull it back at the exact same time. And as you'll see the part where I mentioned with the outrigger, it slipped and I focused in on that. Or you know what, I can bring it up here. This part. This just goes to show you how extremely heavy these things are. When this thing goes blah and pops out, that's taking into effect after Alex even put his outrigger spades down and into the ground to prevent it from sliding back and it still did that. So normally these are always a two rotator job, but we were slammed that day, so Alex had to do it solo which is why um, plan B was to have the driver jump in it, start it, and control the wheels at the exact same time as he's winching. And Flipper's strong enough to do it with that. The guy wouldn't have got out himself, but once he did that, in addition to Alex pulling in, you'll see he popped right out. And once it broke that traction, he pretty much almost had it from there, despite the front wheels were still a little bit in the pit. So Alex just went forward, did it again, and from there it was out. A ton of labor, a ton of labor to set up everything just for a couple of minutes of winching pretty much. If that didn't work, obviously we'd have to call in another rotator. Luckily that wasn't the case here and hopefully that answers everyone's previous questions about why Alex's lines were three-parted and what job it was. This was it. Now he didn't finish recording on his DJI, but after this part, those four containers he was scoping out, he picked those up and lifted all of those and put them on trailers. So. Busy day for that guy, busy month for Alex, busy year for Alex, right? It's pretty much taking over this channel. But um, it should be the second time by now that I'm using this green screen behind me. Well, if you guys haven't paid attention, I'm not really at my desk. I got the green screen on right here in back of me. Oh, it's pretty cool. I've been messing with it, learning how to really use it to get rid of like all the, the green edges to really perfect it and start using this more in my videos. It interject myself and show you guys what I'm talking about instead of just putting the picture in a red circle. I think it's cooler. Uh, so hopefully enough people watch this to leave enough feedback. Let me know what you guys want me to do with this green screen. And one more thing is the new hats. This one's a demo one. I got to do some tweaks before they go live on the website. But uh, that's the motto, just call Pepe's. We get that so much. Some of my biggest jobs, like that excavator video, when uh, the crane company physically couldn't handle the job because of that space, the one where it took us like two hours to back up. When we get these jobs, it's because other companies say, just just call Pepe's, they'll take care of it. So I turned that model into this. I got the tank top on the side already. So if you guys are interested, head over to the website. This hat might not be available by the time you're watching this video, but I'll try my best to make it available. And if it's not, I got all kinds of other cool gear. All the coffee mugs, all the Hulk shirts, all the other stuff. So as long as you guys have an interest in this stuff, I'll keep making it, putting it out there. New designs, I do them all myself. This one I did in Photoshop. Oh, my skills aren't the best. What's that saying go? Uh, jack of all trades, master of none, something like that. Oh, I'm learning. So thank you guys again for watching. Uh, like I said, I got a lot in the back catalog. I'm gonna just keep trying to push out. If I'm lucky, I can do three videos per week till I'm caught up. And I got some juicy ones in store for you guys. So stay tuned and see you on the next one. Peace.